Welcome back everyone. You may be having an issue with your Samsung phone where for some reason you keep getting a no SIM card pop-up. So either it's coming up at the bottom that says like check SIM card tray or maybe you swipe down and it says no SIM card installed or whatever the case is. Now typically why something like this ends up happening is because you don't have a SIM card installed on your device. So what you want to do here is you want to put your phone wherever your SIM card tray is. Typically it may be at the bottom right here or wherever it is on your phone you want to look it up. And all you want to do is double check that the SIM card tray is inputted properly and you have a working SIM card. Just because you have a SIM card doesn't mean it's fully working. So you want to go ahead and plug it into your Samsung Galaxy, make sure it's working there you want to probably take it out, put it back in, and that may end up working as well. Now, if that works, then that's pretty much all you had to do. Now, another thing you may want to double check is making sure that the SIM card that you put into your phone is fully working and compatible with your device. If you have like an AT&T you know, phone and you're trying to put a Verizon SIM card in it, that may not work. So you may want to go ahead and double check that. That is also another thing that's very, very common. If you just bought a phone and it's used or if you're not familiar with how phones work, you need to have that specific compatible service. If it's unlocked, then that's going to work probably. But that's another thing I'd recommend doing. Now on top of that, what I would recommend doing is actually seeing if there's an update available for your specific phone. So what this looks like is you make your way over to your settings panel like this, you scroll down until you find software update, you want to go ahead and download and install and all you want to do is download and install the latest version of software that's available for your phone. So you can see I am pretty much up to date, but just in case if you're not, you want to go ahead and update your phone. That's another thing that may end up working as well. On top of that, you may have to go ahead and reset your phone or restart it. So hold down the power button on your phone. You want to go ahead and restart your device. And what's going to happen there is it's going to restart. It's going to bring you back into your panel and that may end up fixing it too. If that still doesn't work, I would recommend taking out the SIM card once more, checking that SIM card tray out, maybe, you know, blowing a little bit into it, putting your SIM card tray back in, and that may end up working. If that still doesn't work and you're still having issues, you may want to contact either the person you bought the phone from or your manufacturer you bought the phone from or your service provider and let them know what's going on and they may be able to assist you there. So that kind of covers it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.